Kodai Senga, that's a name we've heard quite a bit of in recent days. Are the Mets still in on the Japanese pitcher? Very much so. Uh, we're at the point now where the Mets could be looking at a 200, or excuse me, a $350 million payroll man, if they oh, are able to land that target. I'm told the Mets really, really want Senga. They're not the only team, but we know that when the Mets are motivated in this uh, Steve Cohen era, uh, much of the time, if not all of the, not all the time, but much of the time, they get what they want. Uh, so that's definitely something we're still tracking. Senga said to be moving a little, a, a bit of a more deliberate pace in his free agency. Uh, the Mets believe that they're done for tonight. Um, two big signings, enough for one night, I guess. But they're still on Senga. And a year from now, I, I'm. I believe they'll be very much in on Shohei Otani, too. So it's just going to kind of keep rolling here. Uh, what about Andy? Uh, so we talk about Senga, somebody they've got their eye on. Is there anybody else that you've heard names? The, uh, certainly Rodon is still out there. I'd be hard-pressed at this point to think they're going to spend that sort of money on Rodon. But from a starting pitching standpoint, aside from Senga, are there other names that you're hearing? You want more, Gary? Are you well, not entertained yes. already? We're greedy here, Sal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, certainly Sal's greedy. I think yes. we're, all, we're all greedy here, yes. <laughs> uh, if if not Senga, you could be looking at a Chris Bassett or a Ross Stripling. There are starting pitchers still out there. Uh, but that's a guy in Senga that they really like. So they, they, they definitely have their sights set on there first. And I wasn't just tossing Otani's name out there uh, haphazardly a moment ago. Obviously not for this year. Uh, but uh, 12 months from now, I think that could very easily be the guy in Steve Cohen's crosshairs to look at the rotation and middle of, line, middle of the lineup going forward. I would think so. There's a relationship there between uh, Shohei Otani and Billy Epler, so that would be that would I'll be. Look at Sal right now. Oh baby, yes. <laughs> are you kidding me? I love this. I just want to sit back and watch you guys talk about all the players the Mets are going to get. The only thing with Otani is come trade deadline, if he's available, that would be the tricky part because we know the Mets are going to be reluctant, as they should be, to give up the top prospects. It would take an Alvarez or Beatty, if not both. You know, even if he is a two-month rental, you know that everybody's going to be involved on Shohei Otani. I'm not. Worried Worried about it once he hits the open market, assuming he'd be willing to play on the East Coast. I have all the faith in the world that Cohen will offer him the best contract and the best place to play. But if he's available at the deadline, the Mets are going to have a decision to make. Do they go all in at that moment or risk losing him and then not having the chance to sign him if he doesn't hit the open market?